ओके क्लास सो टुडे लेक्चर नंबर सेवन वीक नंबर टू इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट पैथागोर सीरम राइट एंड आर वर्किंग फॉर्मूला टू फाइंड आउट द अनोन वैल्यूज कीप इन माइंड दैट पैथागोर सीरम ओनली अप्लाइज इन राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल राइट एंड राइट एंगल मीन्स दैट देर इज वन एंगल ऑफ नाइन्टी डिग्री सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू सम मोर क्वेश्चन ऑफ पैथागोर सीरम बट दे आर शॉर्ट ऑफ वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स राइट सो स्टार्टिंग विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इन अ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी ए बी इज इक्वल्स टू टेन सेंटीमीटर बी सी इज इक्वल्स टू सेवनटीन सेंटीमीटर एंड एंगल बी इज इक्वल्स टू नाइन्टी डिग्री राइट सो यू गाइज नीड टू फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ ए सी नाउ दैट इज अवर क्वेश्चन राइट सो फर्स्ट थिंग इट इज वेरी Uh, good and advisable for you if you plot plot a sketch of this triangle right now it may be like this it may be like this so it does not matter right both are correct but the important part is that b is at 90 degree so in both the diagrams b must be at 90 degree right now ab is 10 so i place a here ab is 10 in this case ab is 10 and the last one is c right and c bc is 70 so that is your figure whichever figure on which side you plot both are same so we need to find the value of ac now that is a simple question of pythagoras theorem right but you should know how you plot the question from the given data so applying pythagoras it will be x square is equals to 10 square plus 17 square so 10 square is 100 plus 17 square is 289 so 100 plus 289 will be 389 equal to x square. We know that now we take need to take root. So root of 389 it will be 19.72. Right. And let's say all the lengths are in centimeters. So our final answer will be in centimeter as well. Keep in mind that hypotenuse should be the longest side. So see if there are three sides of a triangle. So hypotenuse is 19.72 greater than 17 and 10. If your hypotenuse is less than any of these two sides, that means that you have done something wrong. So you need to correct it. So today we are going to cover some more examples like this. In a triangle. in a triangle x y z it is y is equals to 90 degree right and x y is equals to 7 meter and y z is equals to 6 meter you need to find the value of x z in centimeter right that is your question you need to find the value of x z in centimeter now first thing you need to plot a figure so figure is very simple it is a simple right angle triangle x but the main question is y must be at 90 degree so y at 90 degree right x y is known that is 7 meters y z is 6 meters you need to find the value of x z so let's call this length a right 
Since it is a right angle triangle, therefore we can apply Pythagoras theorem. So it will be a square is equals to 6 square plus 7 square. Now 6 square is 36 plus 7 square is 49, right? So 36 plus 49, it is equal to 85, equal to a square. Now root on both sides, so it will be a is equals to 9.22 meters, right? But the question says give your answer in centimeter. In order to convert meter into centimeter, you guys need to multiply it with 100. So a is equals to 9.22 multiply by 100 is equals to 9.22 centimeters. So if it is mentioned in the question that you need to convert your answer, so you need to do it. Otherwise, it will be a deduction of one mark, right? So further more examples. Example 3. So you need to try it now by yourself. In triangle ABC, AB is 30 centimeter. BC is 60 centimeter and angle B is 90 degree. You need to find the length of AC. So that is your question, right? So first thing you guys need to do is plot the sketch. So let's label it A, B, C. B is at 90 degree. So AB is 30 and BC is 60. You guys need to find the length of AC. Very simple example of Pythagoras. So it will be x square is equals to 30 square plus 60 square. Now 30 square is 900 and 60 square is 3600. So you need to add these two. 3600 plus 900 will be 4500 and root of 4500 is 67.1 centimeter that is the value of x since this length is the hypotenuse it must be the longest one so 67 is the longest one in this triangle right continue with another example a triangle M and O is right angle at N. So a triangle M and O right angle at N. NO is 13 centimeter and MO is 15 centimeter. Find the length of M n first thing you need to sketch it so angle n is 90 degree and that is my triangle mno no is 13 centimeter and mo is 15 centimeter you need to find the value of mn so let's call this length b first you need to apply pythagoras so 15 square hypotenuse is known equal to 13 square plus b square right now 15 square is 225 13 square is 169 plus b square now 225 minus 169 it is 56 is equals to b square applying root on both sides so b is 7.5 7.48 centimeter that is the value of b right so it is not mandatory that always the two sides must be add to one another it depends on the data if hypotenuse is known then there is a subtraction and if hypotenuse is known then unknown then there will be an addition right 
example number five i am going to plot a figure first and you need to try it by yourself so i have a triangle name x y z it's a right angle triangle right and there is another right angle triangle oh, y p this point is p so the value of x till y it's 40 cm x till z is 55 cm and q y till p is 30 cm you guys need to find the length of y z find y z and the length of p z so first you need to try it by yourself whether you can do it or not so give it a try at first i will plot a triangle x y z so that it will be easy for me to explain it to you guys so that point x y z in this triangle i know that this length is 40 and this length is 55 so i can find the length yz i call it length a applying pythagoras theorem in this triangle it will be 55 square is equals to 40 square plus a square right you need to solve it so 55 square is 3025 is equals to 4 square 1600 plus a square so 3025 minus 40 square give you 1425 now applying root on both sides so it will be 37.75 cm that is the value of your first part that is yz once you got the value of yz now you can find the value of pz for that purpose i need to plot the triangle yz p y z p right and that length is 30 cm is given and we have find out that this length is 37.75 this length is 37.75 i have written a wrong length here it's not 30 it's basically 40 this length right so this one is 40 40 now you need to find the value of pz so let's call this length b applying pythagoras theorem it will be 40 square is equals to 37.75 square plus b square so 40 square you know that it's 1600 37.75 square is 1425 plus b square so 1600 minus 1425 gives you 175 at last you need to take a square on both sides so it will be 13.23 that is the value of pz right so that was an easy example but there are two triangles in one question so you need to solve it and there are many questions you can see in your book and in your past papers that includes some advanced level question as well right so i hope that all of you have a clear idea how to solve such questions now after this question you guys need to do a worksheet that will be assigned to you at the end of this lecture right with the uh, deadline of that worksheet so till now i am going to solve some more examples of the pythagoras theorem now this worksheet this questions are from your previous book right Uh, it's book two, your old book, 
and it's chapter number 10 Pythagoras theorem right so these three questions are from that your previous book so starting with the part C now these questions have two triangles two right angle triangles the lengths are 8 6 C and 19 right so first thing what I'm going to do I'm going to assign the alphabet to the vertex vertex means these points A B C and D so it will be easy for me to define question now at first I'm going to pick the triangle A C D the larger triangle now so if I plot the triangle A C D only A C D the length of D to C is 19 and the length of A to C complete length is known that is 14 it means that I can find the value of A D right by simply using Pythagoras so it will be 19 square is equals to x square plus 14 square right we know that 19 square is 361 14 square when it comes on the left side 14 square is 196 is equals to x square now 361 361 minus 196 gives you 165 so 165 is equals to x square root on both sides 12.84 so x is 12.84 but that is not your answer we are looking for c right but after to find we find the value of ad I'm going to plot the triangle A, B and D only. A, B and D. It is a right angle triangle. A, B and D. Now we don't we know the value of A D that is 12.84. A B is known that is 8 and B D that is Y unknown. Now we can find the value of Y again by using Pythagoras it will be y square is equals to 12.84 square plus 8 square right so 12.84 square is 165 8 square is 64 gives you the value of 165 plus 229 so 229 is equals to y square at last root on both sides so y is 15.13 right so that was asked in the question but we couldn't find it directly because the data was not sufficient so that's why first we take the largest right angle triangle and find the value of ad once in a triangle if i know the value of any two sides then i can find the value of third one right so after part C we are moving towards part D similar to part C I'm going to mention the variables here A B C and D right so we know that triangle A C D I have two lengths known right 26 24 so at first I'm going to pick triangle A C D and secondly i'm going to pick triangle abc right so it will be when i pick acd a c d so ac is known that is 24 ad is known that is 26 and let's say the length of cd is x we can find out the value of x that is right angle triangle right so it will be 26 square is equals to x square plus 24 square 26 square is 676 
24 square is 576 is equals to x square it will be 100 is equals to x square root on both sides so x is equals to 10 right after that I am going to pick the triangle A B and C A B and C in triangle ABC we know the value of AB that is 30 and AC is 24 so AB is 30 and AC is 24 that is right angle triangle and let's say the length of BC is Y again applying Pythagoras theorem it will be 30 square is equals to 24 square plus Y square so 30 square is 900 minus 24 square is 576 is equals to y square so 900 minus 576 gives us 324 at the end we need to apply a root on both sides so 324 under root is 18 but that is not the answer because the answer says we need to find out the value of b to d now we had divided our part our question in two parts one is the smaller one that is cd cd we defined by x and the b length of bc is defined by y so to find the value of d basically we need to add these two values that will be x plus y now the value of x is 10 the value of y is 18 that means the value of d it is equals to 28 and that is our answer right so after part D moving towards part E at first I need to plot the figure now all these questions contain two right angle triangles because without right angle triangle we cannot apply so it's 40 32 E and 55 40 32 E and 55 right I think I have copied all the data yes now we need to find the value of E but before that I am going to assign some variables it will be P Q R S and R is at 90 degrees right at first I am going to pick the triangle P Q R so I am going to plot the triangle P Q R So PQ is 40, QR, sorry, PQR, yes, QR is 32, and PR is unknown, so let's call this length X. Now the length 55 is basically the length of from P till S, and we are looking for from P till R, so we label it X. Now we can find out the value of X, it will be 40 square is equals to x square plus 32 square right 40 square is 1600 32 square is 1024 is equals to x square so 1600 minus 1024 is 576 root on both sides so x is 24 right that means if you see in our figure from this line to this line the length is 24 now we can find out the length of R till S simply by subtracting 24 from 55 so 55 minus 24 is 31 that means this length is 31 now consider a triangle QRS QRS so QR is 32 RS we had find out 31 and QS is Z that what we are looking for right so what I have done I just plot this triangle only just right here now you know the 
in a right angle triangle you can use pythagoras so it will be e square equal to 32 square plus 31 square so 32 square is 1024 plus 31 square is 961 if you add these two values it gives you 1985 and at the last you need to apply a root on both sides so it will be 44.5 right so that is the answer of part e now after this question we are going to attempt another one with a little bit more complex right now this question also belongs to your old book uh, same book uh, book 2 exercise 10 B a question number 9 now in this figure it says you need to find the value of a right and the next important thing that these two lengths are equal that is mentioned in the question so you need to find a now let's say I label the figure a b c d at first if you consider the triangle BCD, it's a right angle triangle, right? BCD, it's a right angle triangle. This length is 34 and this length is 30 known. So you can find out the value of BC. Let's call this length X. So applying Pythagoras theorem, it will be 34 square is equals to X square plus 30 square. Solving it further, 34 square is 1156 is equals to x square plus 30 square is 900. So 1156 minus 900 gives us the value of 256 equal to x square. And at last you need to apply under root so 16 is equals to x. Now we know that this length here is 16 right and these two lengths are equal as mentioned by the symbol so if this length is 16 this one is also 16 and this angle is right angle triangle now you need to take the triangle ABC A B C the length of BC is known 16, AB is known 16 and AC is known that is A. Applying Pythagoras again, it will be A square is equals to 16 square plus 16 square. So 16 square is 256 plus 256. It will be 512 and root of 512 In the root on both sides so 512 root is 22.6 right centimeter so that is a value of this length so keep in mind whenever you have two right angle triangles you need to take one by one at a time right make sure that whenever you are dealing with pythagoras theorem always one angle must be at 90 degree otherwise all your working it will be wrong moving on to the next question that was question number 10 of the same exercise right so now you will see that in this figure also there are two right angle triangles right right angle triangles are two although you can say that triangles are more than two right so at first i'm going to label this triangle a b c d right and point e so that is all the points mentioned at first i'm going to pick triangle abc so that is our triangle ABC. In AB the length is known that is 27 centimeter. In BC the length is known 36 centimeter. The length of AC 2A plus A so it will be 3A. Right. 
Now there is one unknown that is a, and we can find it easily by using Pythagoras theorem, right? So it will be hypotenuse square is equals to opposite square plus adjacent square. Three a square it will be nine a square. Twenty seven square is seven hundred and twenty nine plus thirty six square it will be one thousand two hundred and ninety six. Now if you add these two values. So nine a square is equals to two a two five. A square is equals to two zero two five divided by nine. If you divide it, it will be two twenty five. So a square is two twenty five. Now you need to take root on both sides. So a is fifteen. Right. Now you know that if this length is fifteen, then this will be thirty. We need to find the value of b, so we need to find we need to take e c d. This triangle is quite enough for us to provide the value of b. I'm going to plot e c d. E C D. Now in E C D, the E C length is A and A is known that is 15 centimeter. C D is 60 and E D is basically B, right? So again the same pattern. What you guys need to do? Apply Pythagoras. That is our 90 degree. So it will be B square is equals to 60 square plus 15 square, right? Further solving it, so b square equal to 60 square is 3600. 15 square is 225. So 225 plus 3600 gives us the value of 3825. Now you can find the value of b. By taking root on both sides, so its value is sixty-one point eight centimeter. Right. So I hope that all of you now have a clear idea how to solve Pythagoras theorem. Right. We have done plenty of questions from our course book and the previous book for more practice question. Right. So I hope that this lecture is clear to you. and inshallah in next class we are going to continue with the same topic but with more variety of questions right and after that we will continue with the topic trigonometry so what you guys need to do at the end of this lecture you will be uh, given a worksheet right of the same topic pythagoras you need to submit it on the due date that is mentioned on your screen at the end of the class So see you next class till then take care and allah peace